Hello and welcome to a wizard's top ten from Wizard Melon, me, for Valentine's Day or mating season, depending on where you hail from, yes. So, one thing that uh, I suppose would be quite useful for this season is an enchanted mop. You, there's countless uses for such a thing, uh, bleeding up and uh, <clears throat> uh, such. You could use your imagination, I believe. Like, let's say a, a nice slime girl comes to your wizard's tower and, and uh, does quite a number on the drapes or cobblestones. Well, you have the mop. And then, number nine is going to be the stamina potion. I shouldn't have to explain this, but, you know, having extra energy during the season is quite useful, I believe. Ah, oh, there's not much to, else to say. I mean, it's like an energy drink. No problem at all. And then, coming in at number eight, some good food. You know, yeah, you could know, you could be stacking, plan some kind of picnic, you know. It's uh, yeah, you know, some pretty basic things. And keeping things simple is always a good philosophy when it comes to uh, the mating season. And then number seven, a magic hot tub. Any wizard with his salt could conjure one of these. It's uh. A nice, relaxing place. You know, we're just getting, getting wet and wild, as they say. Quite good, quite good. And number six, mating pheromones. They'll drive any monster girl wild. Now, do not confuse these with lesser potions. They need to be authentic, straight from the source and bottled. On site. Because there's nothing worse than buying a bootleg mating pheromone that makes you smell like a complete dunce. Number five, some clean robes. There's nothing worse than trying to woo a nice goblin princess when you smell like an ogre. That can be quite offensive. And you want to avoid offending the goblins. They are, they are many in number. Some self-confidence goes a long way. You know, the, the wizard who believes himself's magic is ten times as potent. You don't want to be like some kind of apprentice, you know. That would just be embarrassing, really. It, it's what's inside that counts, truly. And then knowledge. Knowledge is pretty important, especially for the dating wizard. Now, this reminds me of a time when I was courting an Amazon, and I tragically wore the wrong vestments to the occasion. And that's a bad idea, so you should have a good idea of who you're trying to court before you attempt so. Otherwise, you'll start another war, or you'll fail miserably. Both equally as bad. A candlelit dinner. Nice and easy. You know, keeping things simple. You could plan for hundreds of years and may come up with the perfect plan, and then as soon as you try to execute that plan, everything goes wrong, and all the effort is wasted. So, I would suggest, just keep things nice and simple. Because it's not like you're, you're planning the logistical supply line for the next council war, you know. You're just going out for some food or something. Just keep it simple. And, you know, as long as you have love in your heart, I believe that you can... You, you can be successful in the dating world. Any wizard can. 
as long as you are open-minded and just do the thing. It'll be fine. I believe in you. Isn't that adorable? A blushing melon. And for this section, I've written a poem. You will find a mate. Even if you're still waiting for your part, I believe in you if there's love in your heart. Love is a lot like a wizard, not always on time, but it always knows precisely when to arrive. If your eyes are unclouded by hate, why not take the plunge? See if that pretty girl or guy will go out to lunch. <laughs>